For more on this, uh, we're now joined by UKZN Historical Studies Lecturer, Gutula Twala, and he joins us uh, via our video link for more on this uh, conversation. Mr. Twala, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening here in SABC News. Perhaps let's start off here. Maybe let's get first uh, your reaction uh, to the news coming out, uh, you know, where the, the king of the Amazulu nation has called for the independence of the Ngonyama Trust. Thank you very much, Mbali. Good evening to the viewers and thanks for having me. Well, Mbali, this is an issue that has not been without its own controversies. From the preamble there, you remember very well that there were issues in 2017 with the high-level panel, yeah. which uh, seek so to dismiss the, the act totally. That on its own makes it controversial, but over and above that, there were issues in Wazulu Natal in areas such as Matulini and uh, uh, Wosiane outside the Kranskop where there were grievances around the way uh, the Ingonyama Trust or the land was being administered. In other words, uh, it has not been uh, administered similar to the fishing that was uh, used during pre-colonial times. I just think that uh, to an ordinary person hearing the news that there is a, a desire from the side of the, His mm. Majesty to have uh, Ingonyama Trust exercising its duties outside of the government, it might paint a picture that the land is going back to its people, but then there is more deeper things to that in the light of what I've just explained. Mm. And uh, this, what uh, the king of the Amazulu nation is asking for, how possible is this? I mean, you are uh, telling us a, a number of, uh, you know, uh, problems here when it comes uh, to the problems uh, being encountered uh, with the Ingonyama Trust as a whole. Is it possible? Well, if we take the word from his majesty to say then that there are going to be mechanisms mm. to train because as we speak now you and i will be aware that there is a a, a, a lack of knowledge uh, on, on on the side of the kings who are looking at that land on behalf of his majesty but the question is how good will that uh, training equip the chiefs as it stand uh, are the real uh, 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 adherence of the king going to benefit? Is it really going to be utilized in, in a manner that is going to improve the lives of the adherence uh, of the Zulu, uh, within the Zulu, uh, Amazon people to change their lives for the better? That is the, 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 the question in, in, in my mind. And one would ask, I mean, time and time again, uh, we always hear about the Ingonyama Trust and it, uh, you know, uh, being splashed on headlines. And why do you say we keep on coming back to this conversation? Why do you think it is always a bone of contention here when it comes to um, now we're seeing this, uh, you know, where the king is asking uh, for the control uh, or, or rather uh, the independence of uh, the uh, Ingonyama Trust board? Why do we keep on finding ourselves here uh, where, uh, you know, it's always embroiled in some ownership battle? It's for obvious reasons. This is the land. Uh, the land, you cannot be a king not uh, fully owning the land because with the land you can do anything. The, I always say that in the modern times, every uh, aspect that would not necessarily be utilized in a manner that is utilized today, things are to change. So there is a lot into what might happen in that particular land. So there is also an issue of others thinking that since the very same ITA was passed just three days before uh, the general elections in 1994, it falls. It was uh, meant to protect what was the then uh, uh, was Zulu government by understand just to make sure that it is preserved. Remembering the fact that it is the only place where uh, the, the, the trust exercises super powers more than the minister uh, than in any of the eight provinces. So given that particular fact, because the land issue will always be a contested terrain. Mm. 
Mm, and maybe let's talk about the problems uh, that are always encountered uh, with the Ingonyama Trust. I know that you know various uh, political leaders will always say uh, their statement when it comes to the ownership uh, of uh, the land uh, under the Ingonyama Trust. Uh, perhaps maybe just uh, outline to us, uh, you know, uh, the problems associated and those problems which have been raised in the past uh, uh, by those living on that land. Well, some people living in the land would love to see things being done differently. Mm. As I've mentioned, there were cases in South, uh, uh, Devon South, in the Matulini and uh, Guashes in Inkandla. Those grievances came about because people were dissatisfied. And you cannot rule out the possibility of the uh, uh, political influence in this whole thing, even though it is not barely articulated, but there is politics at play. But uh, for ordinary people who would love to have the land, the question, the big question is, is the land going to be utilized to benefit even the suffering population who are the citizens of KwaZulu Natal? Maybe with the realization that uh, that is nowhere near happening, there we find ourselves having these debates now in Akei. Mm. And what would be the uh, solution to the problems being faced here and uh, the continuous uh, calls by some saying it needs to be independent and uh, some uh, wanting their own independence of uh, the land and others saying that it needs to be owned by government. You know, from, from uh, your studies and your own research, what do you think would need to happen so that, uh, you know, uh, all parties are actually quite comfortable uh, with what is taking place? Uh, before I just uh, I answer your question, currently uh, the working relationship between the said department of rural development uh, is there to ensure that since there is money that is being pumped mm -hmm. by the very same department in the running or, or, of this particular institution, it therefore says then that the institution such as the uh, auditor general may exercise its duties. But are, 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 are we in a position to have uh, uh, Ingonyama Trust uh, operating independently. And then when you ask me what is it that can be done, I do not think it's very easy unless people become honest with everything. And that particular honesty will only be realized once these things that have been mentioned by the traditional prime minister on behalf of his majesty are going to be real and uh, practical to the benefit of the adherence of the kings of the king in, in Guazul Natal.